Hello everybody, this is Eddie Gabor, CEO and co-founder of Key Advisors Wealth Management. And today I wanna to talk about some of the talking points that we've been discussing with clients in regards to some of the things that we see happening under the hood. And there's been a lot of talk about this debt ceiling debate and what ultimately is going to happen. We try to pay less attention to headlines because a lot of time headlines are after the fact. Uh, so I wanna share with you some of the signs that we saw in advance that many times is a forward looking indicator of problems coming down the road. Um, and that's really referring to CDS, which is credit default swaps, okay? Um, you probably don't hear a lot of people talk about credit default swaps on TV uh, simply because of the fact that it is more of a complicated uh, issue. A lot of people have probably never heard of it or don't understand what that means. So uh, again, it's trying to educate investors and our clients. Uh, I want to just spend a few minutes and talk about that. Uh, so credit default swaps really is the cost of insurance to bet against a default. Okay, not to bet against a default, but to protect against a default. So if credit default swap prices go up, that means that the market's telling you that there is a higher probability of some type of negative impact on a particular company or on the U.S. Treasury, because that's where a big focus has been as far as some of the things we've shared with us uh, and our clients. So back in 2011, when we had a debt ceiling issue, um, our debt was downgraded. And before the debt got downgraded, one of the things that you saw was the credit default swaps on the U.S. Treasuries really started to rise. And you don't really need to know the price. You just really need to look at the chart, okay? So if the chart is screaming upwards, then that's telling you that there is some type of concern in the credit markets that there could be a potential default, okay? Now look, there are some people trying to fear monger folks and say that the U.S. government's going to default on all their debt. We don't believe that the U.S. government's going to default on their debt. However, we are not ignoring the fact that credit default swaps as I'm recording this, are now at levels we haven't seen since 2011 and has actually surpassed that. So how do we interpret that data? Uh, it's very simple for us. Again, not really even needing to know the price. If I just look at the chart and see the direction of that chart, that's telling me that there is a higher probability of some type of credit event or shock to the markets uh, that could cause things to go in the wrong direction pretty quickly. OK, um, and so that is a big sign for us to continue to stay cautious. And we've been cautious uh, over the last 17 months, as most of you know. Um, so, you know, we've talked about yield curve inversions being a warning sign. We've talked about the rate of change of growth, uh, both on the corporate side as well as from an economic perspective. And then these credit default swaps are just another thing, an indicator to take a look at not only from a U.S. government perspective, but we're also noticing certain financial institutions that the credit default swaps on those are going up as well too. Some of them on a percentage basis quite high. Again, another indication that the market is telling us that we need to be concerned about some type of credit event happening some point in time this year. You know, so it's one of those things where of course you're not gonna know the exact time of when it happens, but you can't ignore these things. You know, and as we talk about risk managing portfolios and when to be aggressive and when to be conservative and maybe when to be kind of neutral, these are the things that we look at, uh, along with many others, uh, that you have to start connecting the dots. So if it's just one of those items that's showing a warning sign, then that's not as alarming. However, when you start to see yield curve inversions waving a flag, you're starting to see GDP decelerate much faster than what folks in consensus has anticipated. You're seeing credit default swaps hit levels we haven't seen since the last time we had uh, a debt ceiling issue. And you're also seeing credit default swaps on certain financial institutions that are causing concern. And then you see bank failures happening as well too. You start connecting all those dots. And again, to me, that's a sign to be cautious. Now look, in the next few months, we're going to know whether the bulls are right and that this is the start of a new bull market or the bears are right in the fact that be signing on the air of caution here is the right move. OK, and look, as I've said repeatedly and I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again because no one's going to bat a thousand in this industry. If we're wrong, we'll admit that we were wrong and we will pivot if we are right in being concerned because of all these dots that we are connecting then we are setting ourselves up, in our opinion, 
to put our clients in a position to buy asset prices at levels that they probably haven't seen since the last Great Recession in 08 and 09. Um, and I'll end it with this. I would rather be late to the start of a bull market versus early. Because if you're early, there could be 20% downside in the markets and cause you to have to regroup and put different plans in place for your retirement or whatever it may be. However, if you nail it timing wise and you're just a little bit late and missed the first few points up and you've protected your capital in the meantime, it probably allows you to sleep better at night. Maybe that's my conservative approach to managing our clients assets, uh, but that's our viewpoint. And so again, I just wanted to take some time today to talk about these credit default swaps um, and trying to educate you as to why when you see the cost of insurance going up for these events, it's something that you need to be concerned with. Um, and again, not everyone may agree with that. That's my opinion. It's up to you to decide on whether or not you think that is something uh, that you need to take into your process of determining when to put risk on and when to put risk off. Uh, have a great day and I uh, hope you can make this a winning week for you and your family.